Hello and greetings. This is Brother Menace again. Thank you for coming to the next video titled, Whose Slave Are You? That's right. Romans chapter 6, and I, was, I left off right in verse 11. It says, Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. You know, reckon yourself dead unto sin. Sin is no longer your master. And I said, whose slave are you? Not sin. Sin is not your master anymore if you're under Christ. If you are following the Lord Jesus Christ, if you are in Christ, let me say that, then you are a servant or a slave to righteousness because Christ is now is your new master. You say you're in the kingdom of God, right? Who do you think is the king of the kingdom of God? It is Christ. <laughs> Christ is your king. He is your master. You are a subject unto righteousness. Okay? Sin no longer tells you to get up and go get you a pack of smoke, get you some smoke, get you some weed, get you some alcohol. Sin no longer dictates to you, tell you to get in on your computer or, or go somewhere and look at you some pornography. Sin no longer drives you to get on the telephone and call up someone to have a sex party with. Sin no longer dominates you to lie, to cheat, to steal, to be mean and hateful and spiteful to people. Sin no longer controls your appetites and lusts and desires because you have a new master now. You are in Christ. Don't you understand? I said, whose slave are you? Who's, who is your master? Hmm. We should live our lives free from sin. When I say free from sin, I'm not saying that you will be perfect and you will never sin. Because I know Brother Minister have had to, had to repent for some things. I may have to repent for being mean or something or maybe treating my wife a certain way or something like that but we're supposed to be free from sin especially those presumptuous sins we're supposed to be free from that we're not controlled by sin we're, sin does not dictate us we don't owe sin anything okay sin is something that we should detest we should hate it even when we sin you know I sin all I want to what do you say brother minister you sin all you want to. I don't want to. I hate sin. I even hate my own sin. So I try to stay far from it. I try to stay away from it. But like I said in the first John chapter two, say if any man sin, you have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Okay? Number twelve. Let not let not N O T zero none. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you shall obey it in the lust thereof. Let not sin reign. Sin should not reign over you and rule you, control you, dictate you what to do. Sin is not your master over this body. This body belongs to the Holy Ghost. This body belongs to my Heavenly Father. Okay, and sin is a trespasser. Sin trespasses against the property of the Holy Ghost. So don't let sin control your mortal body. Okay? You don't have to obey the lust of sin. We don't have to obey the lust of sin. We have the Holy Spirit to guide us and keep us. Okay? Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Your body. Oh my goodness, those eyes. Those eyes, you see something you want to look upon, especially a beautiful woman or a man that you want to lust after. You can't do it in Christ. Okay? Sure you're going to look, but you can't lust in your heart. You can't use your hands to do lustful things, things that are unclean, unpleasing to the hell and father. You can't keep lying on your back, on your stomach with these men or these women. 
don't yield your members, your eyes, your tongue. Oh, that tongue is something else. It can be filthy. James told us praises and curses should not come out of the same mouth. How are you going to be in this church one day you praise and call on the Lord Jesus Christ and next minute you cussing out people? You lying? Deceiving people? Using your members as instruments of unrighteousness. You can't do that. We have to yield our use our members as instruments unto righteousness. This body is supposed to be a living sacrifice unto God. Pleasing sacrifice, holy and, and blameless. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Look at number 14. Sin shall not have dominion over you, over me. Okay? For ye are not under the law, but under grace. There it is again. Sin shall not have control over your body, over my body, for you're not under the law. Under the law, you sin against God's law, you died without mercy. So what then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace God forbid know ye not to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey his servants you are to whom ye obey whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness the Lord Jesus Christ said in John I think 834 you know he said if you sin you are the servant of sin and I'm saying it right here if you obey if you yield yourselves servants to obey, if you obey in sin, you can't stop lying. You can't stop stealing. You can't stop hating. You can't stop having dirty secret deeds of darkness, doing filthy, nasty things. You can't keep doing those things. If you keep finding yourself you're doing those things, that's who is your master. It is sin. Okay? If you obey the Word of God, you obey the Holy Spirit, you live in fellowship with God, using your body as members of instruments of righteousness, you in fellowship with the Holy Spirit, with God the Father, you obey, use your body as an instrument of obedience unto righteousness, because righteousness is our new master not sin okay being then made free from sin you became the service of righteousness okay you see that number 18 being made free from sin you're free from sin because it no longer dictates to you how you will live it no longer controls your eternal destiny Sin is an evil, cruel master, and his wages is always death. Okay? You know what? He said, I speak this, I speak of the man of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, for as ye have yielded your members' service unto uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members' service unto righteousness unto holiness. We did yield our members unto the flesh, those things that please our flesh. We went where we wanted to go. Do we did those things we wanted to do to please ourselves, to please our flesh. We did all kind of dirty deeds. We were liars and fornicators and stealers and there's so much evil, nefarious works. I can't name all of it. It's not in my vocabulary, not yet. But you know what? He said, for when ye were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. Oh, man, I'm running out of time. I'm going to wrap this up in the next video. I'm about to finish this. But you know what? Whose slave are you? If you're in Christ, Christ is your new master, and you no longer serve sin. Brother Minister saying, peace. Come to the next video. I'm about to wrap it up. I got to go. Come to the next